just have your feet shoulder width apart and just feel the ground under your feet so we're going to have a look a little bit more closer at the hooking punch today and um we'll we'll leave the leg exercises until um, uh maybe not do as many as usual but we'll uh, we'll see how we feel anyway so just feel the ground under your feet sink the hips lengthen through the spine breathe in and out Take a few slow, deep breaths. Notice the head float up, feel the hips sink, feel the shoulders relax, breathe in and out. And turn the waist, feel the arms moving. I won't be able to, Darren. You'll have to get it off the um, the thing. I don't. Maybe write it from the email onto your smartphone or something. Yeah. Hang on, just pause the video a sec. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> so we had some technical issues, so we're back again. Keep breathing. Okay, and then transfer the weight. Uh, 
and transfer the weight. And back to the middle again. And then raising the arms up. shake out just do our loosening exercises so feel that the springs in the legs feel the springs in the arms and we'll just do this one And then turn the palms up. So feel that you've got lots of space in your chest. Okay, and then we'll change. Keep breathing some more. Really loosen and soften the arms. Nice. Okay, 
just relax check your posture feel the head float up feel your sitting bones and hips sink down feel the ground under your feet and then relax around the knees relax around the jaw and then with the eyes you want to softly gaze forwards as you listen behind and above so nice and tall and we're breathing and just let the arms drop Keep breathing, okay, and change. So we're looking at slow punching today, but even if you're punching slowly, you, you want to have very relaxed arms and you want to engage your whole body. Keep breathing and relax around the jaw. That's it. And then that one. So you're making a circle. So you want to sink the hips, sink the shoulders, lengthen through the spine. Okay, 
let's have a look at that punchy one but what i'll do is i'll, I'll um, adjust the angle of this so you can see my fists a bit better right and I'm, now my feet have disappeared but uh, oh hang on one of those days today so um what we're doing is when you punch up you punch up with a, a loose fist and then you let go and as the arm goes behind the heels come off the floor slightly so i was i was doing this with barry this morning and um, it's very good exercise we'll do 30. when you're at home practicing you can do 40. you need to do 40 of these so you you punch up and relax so with a this one you want to really let the arm go and you want the palm at the bottom you want it open so it's closed at the top open at the bottom great yeah okay so get yourselves ready i'll show it from the diagonal might be a bit easier to see so prepare and begin one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, relax the, the shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Next, Dragon Serves Teacups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 come in a bit and we'll do doubles we'll do five doubles ready and begin one two three four Five, breathe in and out. Iron butterfly. You have your, your fists out and then we go one two three <clears throat> four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Okay, right side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Bring your feet in, interlink the hands, stretch up, turn to your left, turn to your right, back to the middle, over to the left, over to the right, back to the middle, straight legs, straight back, Bend forwards, bend your knees, go up onto the ball of the foot, bring the chest open, lengthen through the spine, come up, come back to Wu Chi. And then we do it two more times. Interlock the fingers, stretch up, turn to your left, turn to your right. Back to the middle, over to your left, back to the middle, over to your right, back to the middle, straight back, straight leg. So you fold at the hip, bend the knees, come up on the ball of the foot, open the chest, lengthen through the spine, make sure the lower back is sinking and then you come up and then you put your foot down so you've got your whole foot on the floor. And we do one more round so this is the move i learned off of barry barry mcginley thank you very much any mistakes of my own turn to your left turn to your right back to the middle and it, I, I like it because it's called iron butterfly i've got a brilliant name for a move over to your left back to the middle over to your right back to the middle Straight back, straight legs, bend your knees, thighs parallel to the ground on the ball of your foot, open the chest and then come up and relax. Oh, fab. Yeah, so he does really good, ex uh, really good classes. He does more like fitness classes and Kung Fu and um, really nice. And knows a lot of good Qigong as well. So very relaxed. Okay, let's do, uh, let's wake the legs up a little bit and we'll do the um, dancey puppet exercise. So you can have your arms up, have your arms just hanging, have your hands on your waist. Whatever works for you is fine. So we go out to the, the front, we go out to the corners, across to the corners, all the way across the sides, hamstrings, and then kicky forwards is yeah okay so first off check your posture nice and relaxed nice and bouncy breathing in and out oh fab and begin one two three four five six seven eight and again one two so we won't do all the kicking exercises 
because Ames isn't here and we don't want her to feel left out. Okay, out to the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way across. One, two, three. So use your eyes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Nice and relaxed. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, then we'll do hamstrings. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax. Sides of the ankles go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice and relaxed. Final move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, shoulders. And the other way. One, two, show you that from the diagonal. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands on the chest. And then we've got the spinal wave thing going on as well and begin one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and the other way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, tall through the spine. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over and under one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it. Just wiggle the fingers. So we'll do the sea and enemy exercise. Just up and down. Tall through the body, just feel the arms. Up and down together. Forward and back. And then forward and back together. Round and round. 
So keep wiggling those fingers round and round. So we're just feeling the circulation in our in our hands. Let's shake out. Okay, let's do um, Barry's hand gripping exercise because uh, it's horrible, and um, we'll just do we'll do sixty today. So we've gone up by ten since last week. So you have your hands out and you're nice and relaxed and you you grip the hands and then let them go. So you you, you wanna you wanna keep your hands or come a bit closer, you wanna keep your hands soft and also like you've got lots of space in the hands. So soft and relaxed. Right, I'll I'll show it from the diagonal. So I don't know who Barry learnt this off, but I, this is the one I learnt off of Barry. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Nine fifty two three four five six seven eight nine sixty. Ah. Yeah, we've got to get it to a hundred. So there we go. That's hopefully sorted the arms out a bit. Let's just do head turns to the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then um yeah, leg swings. So put your left foot forward, have your hands up, and we're just gonna swing the leg ten times, and then we swap sides, swing the leg ten times, and then we swap sides, so we do twenty each leg. Ready, prepare, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, other side. So bring your right leg back, have your left leg forward, have your arms up, and we swing up. With leg. So you want to feel that ball and socket joint working. Prepare. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, whoops, 16, sorry, I've done 20, that side, 17, 18, 19, 20. We better do 10 more that side. So I was going to do two lots of 10 each side and they got too enthusiastic. So uh, <laughs> 10 more on this side and then we're not wonky. Right, let's go for it. Oh, talk about mindfulness, eh? Ready? Prepare. And I'll stop at 10. If I carry on after 10, you lot just stop at 10. Otherwise, we'll have to do 10 more that side as well. <laughs> Ready? And begin. One, two, three. Four. I'm glad I'm not an accountant. Five, six, seven, eight nine and just one more ten oh thank goodness for that otherwise this would have been an epic you know we'd have ended up having to do a hundred each side okay so let's have a look at the jab the cross and then what we're going to do we're going to hang on the hook for a bit um i went to a martial art well an online martial art class on um Monday briefly and basically my hooks weren't quite right and I was given some very useful feedback from Morgan so um, I will be consulting the Cambridge Academy on the kicks 
with the different levels of the kicks so you can have kicks sort of anywhere various levels um but because the hall was so echoey i couldn't quite hear what was being said so i will find out what that is and then hopefully we'll be able to talk about it in the class and, and do it in the class next next friday so um yeah so we do the jab comes out and you're you're you want to whether you're doing the jab at the front foot or you're doing the jab in the back um it still needs to feel solid so you need to connect what the arm is doing with what the body's doing so that it it has it has the body behind it the best person to ask about that is morgan alexander um she she really knows like when she punches you can really even if she's pulling back you can feel that the, her whole body is punching with her fist and it's kind of scary so that's what we want to aim towards getting so we do our jab and bring it back and it comes back in a I'll show you from the side it comes back in a straight line to your guard position so remember the guard is protecting your head area as well as your lower your middle area and then you've got your legs to protect the lower bit again I'll ask about that um i'm hopefully going to be contacting julie over the weekend and just ask for some to clarify the basics because they're really important basics are very important so with the jab it comes out and back and you're feeling the connection from the fist all the way down to the feet so it's not just your fist that's punching your whole body is punching through the fist and you're connecting to the earth so it's not just the whole of your body it's the whole of planet earth yeah great <laughs> so jab cross now the cross punch you you sink your hips and you're again you want to use the weight and it comes straight back show you that from the diagonal cross and it comes straight back to your guard position so remember using your guard to um a few years ago i was training with uh, steve uh, steve wright the he does kettlebells and lots of fitness and he does self-defense and we did this thing where someone would come around and do like slaps around the head and we were having our guard and we were practicing using the the arms as like a shield so it's it's quite good so jab cross so we just do the one two punch first but nice and slow jab cross so rather than thinking about power or speed think about getting your body mechanics so that you're engaging the whole of the body when you're punching again morgan is brilliant at it ollie is terrifying when he punches his whole body's engaged and i think he's probably punching with the whole of planet earth as well i wouldn't be surprised he's really <laughs> it's quite intense to hold pads for either of them two. Oh my goodness you know you're just sort of caving in one two and the other thing uh, ollie said was when the punch comes out it comes back in quicker than what it came out so it, it comes back in faster than it goes out i guess that's because you want your guard i suppose that's why um i'll find out so one two go one two and then we're just gonna do it slow but we're gonna just practice moving around a bit and then letting our next one two so just at a slow pace do your one two just move around a little bit and then do a one two in your own time so just when it feels right to do your one two then just throw your one two in 
and then just move around and you want to keep your eyes eye level gaze and this relaxed but alert and if you're looking at the other person say this lampshade is a person so that's their head that's their middle they've obviously not eaten much have they and um, rather than looking at the eyes you want to look at the neck or the shoulders to see how they're moving rather than just looking in the eyes so um, one thing I've done with with Ollie is you look at this bit or you look at the shoulders and that will tell you if you need to do a deflection when we were doing this thing where we deflected and punched and then threw some kicks in but so you want to aim your gaze to be somewhere around that sort of an area when you're doing your punching yeah we're just we're just taking it easy today and just looking at some basic techniques not worrying too much about speed so do you want to move a bit do a one two move a bit but really focus on trying to get it correct just move and you you kind of light on the feet you want to be light on the feet but also when you punch you want to be solid so you don't want to be kind of balancing on one leg or whatever you want to feel both of your feet in touch with the ground and use the ground to, to hit with so do between eight and ten unless you lose count that's good so bring the hand back okay just relax a sec um just a little bit more uh, one thing on um on the monday class that i went to briefly um you want to think about that because like when we were doing this turning this turning is happening when we're doing the punching so as we punch with the front hand this is already causing the other hand to move because your shoulders are moving and your hip your hips and waist are moving so you turn the waist turn the waist and it's already rather than thinking one two no it's it's all connected so it's one two like a it's all natural so slow it down to give yourself enough of a chance to get that um flow the flow and the continuous feel of it so rather than think right that's my first punch that's my second punch think about both of the punches as just being one strike so one so we'll do, do a few more do five more in your own time okay try a few very slow moving around one twos but thinking about your boom boom so it, it's just kind of flowing and smooth um, don't worry too much about you know whether this is actually going to work it will work the more you engage the whole of your body it will work otherwise you're just sticking your arms out and in a disconnected fashion you want to connect so um, again if you want to see that in action I'll, what, what I'll do if you send us an email I'll, I think there's some really good footage of Morgan hitting some pads and that really shows you about this connecting the whole body and, and using all your weight and it's all physics and body mechanics okay here we go prepare ready begin so, so even though we're going slow mean it mean the punch so imagine you're hitting someone's holding a pad up obviously we can't do pad work at the moment because we're in the middle of a, the covid but you can imagine there's a pad 
you can imagine there's a pad that you're actually hitting and you're not just hitting at you hit through so one two one two I will be hopefully using some pad work more. I'll try and use the pad because it does give you a one, two. So use it. So you sink, use your whole body. Use your body. Okay, nice and relaxed. Grab some water, yeah. Right, well, we're going to spend the rest of the class looking at the hook. Um, just because I was given a bit more information about it. And again, I will ask Julie about it. So. So with a hook punch, you've got your front hook and your back hook. Now the hook, it's like that with a 90 degree angle. And not just that, you really want to sink your hips. So, and keep your body level when you hook. So you want to stay, if you look at the uh, body mechanics, again, I will ask, I will ask, um, get this checked out just to make sure I've got it right on Monday. But you, you want to hook. And my toe, my toe and my knee is pointing in the same direction as the fist. So I, I have, uh, I like this hook. This hook's okay as well. But when I've done it in class with the pads, sometimes I missed, um, you know, when I was still learning it, this one felt a bit stronger somehow. It feels a bit stronger, but the boxers, I think they, they do that one. So both are valid, but you just have to know which one you're doing. Again, nice and relaxed. So the front hook, and you want to you wanna sink your, your hips and, and stay upright when you're hooking, rather than... You don't want to curve your body. You want to stay upright like you're holding a shield. So you want to, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll do that really slow. So we go one. Just check that you're upright and then bring it back. Two. Three. Four. And then bring it straight back. And then move around a bit. Five. So we just do it in front hook, six, and you want to stay upright, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the rear hook, again, you're staying upright. So this arm goes from vertical to horizontal, vertical to horizontal, and you're staying upright so it's the same as the front hook one two three stay upright and use your boom use your body to so it's the momentum of the body and the sinking of the hips and the alignment which makes it more uh powerful and strong uh one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that was too leany. Sorry about that. Try it again. Ten. That's better. I'm sinking better. That last one was rubbish. Terrible. Okay. Now let's try double hook. And we're, we're doing um, we're doing the snail kung fu pace, so we're not okay. One, two, 
So even though it's slow motion, again, because of the swinging of the body, you, you kind of naturally do the move almost by itself. One. Stay upright. Two. Three. Four. That's it. So you want to use your body. So I'm using my whole, like this, five. And, and looking, and nice and kind of bouncy. Six. Seven. So you sink. You, you, you sink. Eight. Nine. That was like nine again. I did that wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's better. There you go. More sunk. I'll try and remember better and stop displaying shoddy technique. And ten. Fab. Okay. Ten on the other side again. Where we'll keep at that pace. Um, okay. Nice and relaxed. Practice your your gaze. I'm so when I'm moving, my my legs are. I'm not like leaving the leg behind, and I'm not like too close together. I'm, I'm keeping that that distance, like when you're doing the salsa. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, hooking front and rear hook ten times, and upright and sunk. Ready and begin. One, two, three. Think about using a whole body to hit. Four, whole body, whole body. Yeah, lovely. Five, good effort everybody. Sink your hips more, that's it. Six, what would Rocky do? There we go. Seven, yeah. Eight. So upright, upright. Nine. Try not to cross your legs in front like I just did. That was naughty. Ten. Oh. Okay. Jab, cross, hook, hook. So we'll do jab, cross, hook, hook. five times and then jab cross hook hook five times on the other side so get yourself nice and and comfy so we're, we're we're moderate sort of slow slow to moderate pace nice and relaxed jab cross hook hook and begin jab cross hook hook move around and then when you're ready two so try and get your body sunk, especially on the hooks. So they're a bit lower down because you just hit them twice and then you get them, yeah. Uh, three. Five. Okay, try the other side. Jab, cross, hook, hook, five times. Nice and relaxed. Soft focus gaze. Tall through the body, springy in the legs. Springy in the whole body. And begin. Jab, cross, hook, hook. You're looking forwards. Jab, cross, hook, hook. You're trying to get the technique, jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross, hook, hook. So imagine you're actually hitting a heavy bag. Four and five. So um, if you can't afford a punch bag at home, what I've done in the past is I've actually 
um, used a rolled up a pillow, wrapped round it, hung it up, and punched. Then, then you've got something that you're actually hitting. And also, the good thing about a pillow, it's nice and soft, and you won't damage. You can maybe put something a bit heavier in the pillow as long as you wrap it round and hang it up if you've got a hook on the ceiling and then the thing is if you have one then you can move around and practice your practice your punching okay let's just change the mood um hmm. nice and tall and we'll just do this and while you're doing this just look natural i'll just change the angle of this again that's it. Okay, nice and relaxed. Take a slightly wider stance. We're going to do a few rounds of Park the Wild Horse's main health exercise. Just to finish off and to get ourselves nice and relaxed. One, two, hold the ball, three. One, two, shake out and then what we'll do we'll do pop the wild horse's mane as a, as a walking exercise so just creating some space in the body and we're just light and relaxed I've run out of room that end so we just go for a nice little walk I feel they've got lots of room oh, lovely okay and then just breathe in And out, calm in, down. <clears throat> One more time. Nice and relaxed. Just make some space. We'll do this one again. So the big stone ball exercise. Relax and then embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. So a little bit more relaxed today, eh? But hey, it's all good stuff. And um I will go phone up, find out about the kicking at the different levels and also more tips on proper punching. Because um 
you want you want things to be as authentic as you can possibly make it so uh that's why i like i like learning all the time it's, it's good and then so just let everything go it's nice and relaxed okay we'll see if it works today so rub the hands together and polish your face and rub the hands together again and give your lower back a rub Stand for a moment. I'm just going to Cheng Bao. So we'll just hold that, just do some standing. Not for very long. So we're just making sure we're correctly aligned all the way through the body. Pulse the hands and just stand in Wu Chi again. Really own your space. Make a fist with your right hand. Bring your left hand over the top. Bring your feet together. And there. And then just check your posture again. Just make sure you've got a good contact with the ground. Great. 